All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Quick video on the TCL 10 and the TCL 10 Pro. Uh, mini review for you, uh, you know, just kind of kicking it with you guys and letting you guys know how I feel about these phones after having them for quite some time. Uh, these will be launching, I believe, on the 19th of May at the recording of this video. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of the 19th of, of May, but, you know, depending on when you're watching it, the phones are out, you might have questions. So I'm going to answer a few of those questions and give my opinion on this. This isn't a a final thought on this phone or this phone this is just my opinion so you know you determine after you purchase it whether you think something's worth it or not or if the coverage was good for you so first speaking of coverage I want to say for all the people that ask about the bands I'm gonna go over the bands right now and if you want to know if it's gonna work with your provider you'll let us know after you buy it so you're gonna to have to buy the phone man to see what your coverage is gonna be like I can't tell you how your coverage is gonna be I can only tell you how my coverage is and so uh, the way to, the way that you do that is you go to the link yourself and you look through the look through the uh, information on the phone and that's it you'll determine whether or not it should work for you but I can tell you off the rip the majority of the bands that a, a person might need are actually on both of these phones and here are the bands LTE bands are one two three four five seven eight twelve thirteen seventeen twenty five twenty six twenty eight thirty eight forty forty one. 66 and then the pro model has t799b all right so you got plenty of lte bands there for you guys man and i think that if you you need to do your own research to find out you know what i mean like which phone is going to work for you on your carrier so this is the tcl 10L. Now I've been having a really good time. I started using this phone first, probably almost uh, four days or five days before this phone, uh, the Pro model. But the the TCL 10, and the reason I'm doing this in these in the same video is because they're so similar. There are only a few things that are different from where I sit, like price and screen size and things like that. But overall, the software experience is identical. Uh, and I mean that in every way. So, you know, the, the TCL 10 is, is built a little different. You got a fingerprint reader on the back. You got the raised camera, but ultimately still has pretty decent cameras. But these cameras to me, speaking about both of them right now, they both pretty much perform the same when it comes to cameras. Both front cameras are awesome. Both rear cameras kind of need some work. I'm not a fan of how they produce in certain lighting. But when you take photos outside now, I took some some video of, of footage inside the office and inside the house. And a lot of you guys say, oh, it's got like this orange tint. But those same people who said that probably like this phone and both phones when it was taking photos outside. Now, because of the current situation outside, I'm not trying to go outside. I'm trying to stay in the house as much as possible um, and, and somewhat try to be safe. But cameras on both of these probably are identically matched man they they just take photos about the same uh video is really decent on both the front camera's video though is incredible on both so you'll probably love front facing video on both of these phones and rear facing video is subjective you might not like it as much but outside i can tell you that both of these phones perform great whether it's video or photo they both perform fairly well uh, with no problems. So when it comes to the hardware on both of these, I like the Pro better. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels, everything, because it has a flat camera bump. Uh, and then the color that it comes in is really, really sweet. I really like this. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. Uh, and um, I just think the overall hardware on here is better. Yeah, it has the curved screen, but that AMOLED is beautiful. And I don't know how well this comes across on video. I don't know, but the blacks are really black on here. Now, granted, this does have a screen protector on it. Uh, they they had this pre-installed screen protector on here, and it looks good when I'm looking at the phone. Uh, but when it comes to just looking at them side by side, this is AMOLED. This is LCD on the 10L. And so the AMOLED is always probably going to be better uh, to some people. Uh, but overall, though, I just like the way this phone looks. The screen is beautiful, man. HDR10 compliant. It is just a beautiful, beautiful looking display. And so hardware and display and just the overall hardware alone, I like the 10 Pro a lot better. It feels better in the hand. It's got the IR blaster. Not that, that some people might not use that, but it's definitely a handy thing because you basically can control, you know, your, your TV, your DVD player, your whatever. You can control it right from the phone. 
So yeah, that's a huge plus. And they both have that headphone jack. So I think that's really cool. But overall though, this is the phone that I've been kind of favoring of the two because of the way it feels in the hand. And that doesn't mean that this phone feels bad in the hand. It's just that the, the hardware, I like it a lot better uh, on the uh, 10 Pro. Now, when you talk about battery life on both of these, they both get about the same battery. Even though this one has the bigger battery, um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, you have a 4,300 milliamp hour battery, I believe, um, uh, and, and, and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery in the Pro and a 4,000 in the 10L. And, you know, it's still, I'm getting about the same battery life on both. So, that's just what it is, but you do have an end screen fingerprint reader on here and it works overall, uh, but this has a rear mounted fingerprint reader, you know, it works overall. But anyway, battery, um, it's about the same to me, six and a half to seven and a half hour screen on time on both of these phones with about a day to two days of battery life uh, or so. Now they both have Bluetooth 5.0, which is something a lot of people don't really talk about, but um, it is there. And, you know, you got the FM radio for both. Um, you know, I don't know. These phones are so similar. Some would say that they're not. I mean, because this has a Snapdragon 675. And one thing I did notice is that gaming on the 675 is a heck of a lot better. Um, less lag. There is some lag on, on this model right here, uh, the 10L. But it's not really bad on every game. Uh, but you do get a bigger screen on here. You get that 6.3. 6.53 inch display and you get a 6.47 on here but you know these phones turned out to be much better than i thought now in another video i talked about the pricing on the pro i said you know the pro i'd probably price it at about 399 tops i stand firm on that i mean uh, even though it has solid hardware i mean we're, this hardware is good this is like quote unquote high-end hardware if you will uh, at a price is 450 but you know what folks let's keep it real here it's getting tight out here it's getting tight in these streets man because um you know this cell phone game is is one that you're gonna have to bring it and some people say oh you know it's horrible it's not worth the money but you don't actually use the phone you haven't you haven't used the phone you're just going by price and specs alone and you know hey yeah whatever that's fine that's how you feel but this Pro model is a very solid phone, with the exception of the cameras on the rear in indoor situations for me. Remember, indoor, outdoor, fantastic footage on these, these cameras overall, because what phone pretty much can't can't do well? You know, every, every phone should be able to do well outside. You got the natural sunlight, the beautiful colors of the trees. That's about how it's going to produce the footage. And again, both of these do well at that, but... Overall, I think the, the TCL 10 Pro is the better phone of the two. However, is it $150 better? Is it $200 better than the TCL 10L? And a lot of you guys would say, nope, it's not. Uh, and I could see why you would say that because I got six gigs of RAM with an SD card and I, I got 64 gigs of onboard storage for 250 bucks. That's really solid. That's really good. And and if you can get past, you know, the shiny back with the fingerprints, which I can, because I like how beautiful, you know, the little shimmer is on this phone, man. It's a beautiful little shimmer on it. It's, it gets dirty really fast, but it's just what it is. But this is such a beautiful looking device. You move past it and you got a fingerprint reader on the back and boom, there it is. So software wise on here, this is pretty much like stock Android. I mean, I don't. I don't see anything wrong with the software. Some people might say differently, but um, I don't know. I like it. I don't I don't see anything bad about it. It's, it feels stock to me. It looks stock. It's blazing fast. I haven't had any problems with it. You know, nothing. So I'm good. So how do I feel about both of these phones after having them for a little bit of time? I think they're both solid phones. And I think nowadays phones are getting the competition that's getting so tight that you really have to bring it if you really want to grab the consumer's attention. Who are these phones for? They're for someone. Someone's going to like the beautiful hardware on both of these, and they're really going to like it on this one. They're going to buy this one. Someone's going to, um, first of all, the accidental touches on here, are I don't like that about the Pro. It's happened twice in this video, so I got to point that out. Uh, but I was, I was leading into my cons, by the way. 
Uh, but, you know, who are these phones for? They're for someone. Someone's going to like the hardware on this one. Someone's going to like the screen on this one. Someone's going to like, you know, the price on this one and all that you get for that price. There's a whole bunch to like. Uh, but, you know, the software on these are identical in performance, except for a little bit of gaming is better on the 665, like 675, like I said before. Uh, but overall, these are pretty much the same phones in different bodies from what my usage is. And so um, that's a good thing because they're giving you the options that you want. If you want to have a just high end premium feeling hardware, you got it right here with the pro accidental touches. Let's go to the cons, man. Let's go to the cons. Accidental touches on, on <laughs> accidental touches on a curved screen. I haven't really had too many problems with that on other curved screen phones, but it's very relevant on here. It happens so much and it's happened three times in this video and it's frustrating. You know what I mean? So because you could have your phone somewhere and it's opening up something you don't want to open. Like what if that was opening up, you know, a private message or an email that I didn't want anybody to see? That's an issue. You know what I mean? Uh, but. You know, that's that's a con for me is that at those accidental touches. And then another con for me, it's, it's, I guess it's a con for me because I expected more was the battery. How could the battery match this phone right here? You know, I'm surprised these are identical in battery life. In my usage, your battery life will be different. But I'm telling you, in my usage, these get the same battery. And I'm shocked by the pro model uh, not getting, you know, eight hours of screen on time. I'm, I'm surprised at that. It's not like it has a quad HD display. So, yeah, that's that's some cons for me for this. The accidental touches and then the battery should be better, I think. Now, as far as the 10L, you know, the 10L, you know, the hardware, when I, when I pick up that, when I pick up this Pro model and then I go back to the 10L, it's like, ugh, you know, but I, I, I don't know. It, you won't have both, probably. Some of you ballers might have both, uh, but most people won't have both. And, um, you know, that's just how it goes down. I wish I could recommend. I wish this phone right here was about two ninety nine or so, but it's not. It's four fifty. This one is two fifty. But is this phone two hundred dollars more worth two, worth it for two hundred dollars more over this phone? I say no. Um, I say no. And, you know, I could I cap this phone off at three ninety nine, the pro model uh, and the lowest side two ninety nine. And this phone right here, I wouldn't change the price at all, honestly. Because it's it's right. They, they priced it just right. It performs great. And this is a situation where, you know, you kind of kick yourself a little bit uh, when you have two phones that are from the same company and one is just equally matching another in a lot of ways. So you probably can't recommend the other one to everybody. While this pro phone is, is really solid and I like it, you might say, well, nah, Jay, I can't do that. I'm going to go and get the 10L. You're still making a great choice. You're making a great choice. And that's what it's all about, man. You make the choice that's beneficial to you. But if these two phones were sitting on the table, I would say, man, if you can go for the pro just for the hardware alone and the, the screen is just beautiful. TCL is known for beautiful TVs and all you guys get out there talking about, oh, they should stick to making TVs. You guys don't even have the phone yet, son. So that's why I don't take you serious. You're just looking at price and specs. But once you buy the phone, and then you get some real usage out of it. Then you might say, you know what? This is worth 250 straight up. I have no problem keeping this price at 250 I'm enjoying my phone. And I can guarantee you, yeah, neither one of these have stereo speakers or anything, but they have a headphone jack. And when you plug in, it sounds great like any other headphone jack, depending on how, how good your headphones are. Or you can use Bluetooth because it has APTX. So, you know, you do the math on what you think is, is important to you when it comes to um, buying a device. I'm just here to give you the information and what I bring to you today and this little mini review of both of these devices is both of them are good and now TCL has made their mark and now it's up for you to decide how these phones will do. A, a video review from me is just my opinion. I like them both but I favor the, the pro model for the hardware and the screen accidental touches. Ugh. I favor the pro model for, for uh, you know the hardware and the screen. And the size is just so beautiful. Uh, but these are kind of equally matched in my experience, you know, in a lot of ways. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is a mini review for the TCL 10 Pro and the TCL 10. What do you guys think about these two phones and, and how they're going to stack up against today's market? Because honestly, I have other phones that cost less that I feel like perform better and do better. 
but this is about these phones and these aren't going to get any exception i'm going to match it up against other phones because i've got some phones that i recently purchased that i know spank both of these phones and <laughs> spank some a lot of flagships in my catalog and it didn't even cost 300 bucks so We'll see you in another video. It's your man, Jay. These are two good phones from TCL. How do they stack up in the industry? I think the TCL 10 fits right in line, and I think the TCL uh, 10 Pro is borderline. That price has to come down for a lot of people to really find it appealing, uh, but I understand why they're trying to do this because, folks, this is a beautiful piece of hardware. Well, it's your man, Jay. hope you guys enjoyed high-end flagship options in this device but would you pay 450 or would you spend 250 on the 10l or would you just pass all together see you in the next video take care